Imagine, if you can, an electronic brain operating at millionth of a second speed. I say brain because the new electronic central office will almost think for itself. Much of what we once imagined about the future is here. Pocket-sized radio instruments will enable individuals to communicate with anyone, anywhere. And rapid breakthroughs in frontier technologies and artificial intelligence have altered the course of human history, bringing far-reaching impacts we're only just beginning to understand. Newspapers, magazines, mail, and messages will be sent through the air at lightning speed. In many ways, this is a technological golden age, the likes of which we've not seen since the Industrial Revolution. We stored the two photographic images in the central home computer, which is secretary, librarian, banker, teacher, medical technician, bridge partner, and all-around servant in this house of tomorrow. All pertinent information about this family, its records, its tastes, and reference material, is stored in these memory banks, available instantly to every member of the family. It wasn't that long ago that the tech we now take for granted seemed like a pipe dream. Yes, life will be richer, easier, healthier as space-age dreams come true. Dashboard panels featuring built-in safety controls and electronic operating devices are predictions for tomorrow. A teletype panel shows up to the minute traffic bulletins. The recommended safe driving speed is automatically indicated. Our rear view mirror is actually a television picture. There is new beauty and new strength in the city of tomorrow. Technology can point the way to a future of limitless promise. But man must chart his own course into tomorrow. These days, tech is more powerful and easily available than ever before. But this reshaped reality of opportunities, challenges, and unintended consequences is also filled with thorny questions that aren't so easy to navigate. Tonight, a stark warning that artificial intelligence could lead to the extinction of humanity. The experts signed the statement which says mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. It's not clear to me that we can solve this problem. I don't think we can stop the progress. I didn't sign the petition saying we should stop working on AI. Because if people in America stop, people in China wouldn't. It's very hard to verify whether people are doing it. One of the most dangerous questions I think we're going to have to ask ourselves in the next few years is, how many people do we really need inside our organizations? The most talked about issues in tech, deep fakes, bias, explainability, privacy, all have a common denominator, trust. The big question, how do we quantify trust in systems that we aren't sure work in our favor? Welcome to Shift, a new weekly podcast from PRX. Now here on the steering column is a device called Auto Cruise. You simply set the speed you want. Self-driving robo-taxis are already on the road in two US cities. As the disc rotates, a mirror reflects the light in the way that depends on how the signal was recorded. This is the 100 terabyte action call. I present to you Electro, the model man. Ladies and gentlemen. I would say that one of my greatest skills is my ability to interact with humans. I'm your host, Jennifer Strong. You can learn more at shiftshow.ar.